Hi guys, welcome back to your weekly readings. I trust you guys have had a wonderful week and are gearing up for July. For those of you that live in the United States, July the 4th is coming up, guys, for a nice celebration, a good day off, hanging with family or with your friends and celebrating one day. That represents freedom, that represents family, that represents the United States. Also, commemoration of those that were lost they came before us celebration to them to their efforts what they did to unite the states and uh giving us a nice happy home here in the united states all right guys thank you for those of you that have shared my videos for those of you that have commented those of you that have donated to my channel those of you that have contacted me for a private reading as you know i am moving and i could use the additional help at this time and there's always reciprocal. You help me and I will help you. Today, the, one of the cards that we've gotten is self-love. Which the message last week for me was to focus on self. Not so much on others, but to focus on self. What do you want exactly? What direction do you want to go in life? What makes you happy? How can you help those that are around you but not compromising your own desires, you know. So the card that has come up today is self-love, and that doesn't surprise me. So it's taking time to get to know yourself and what works for you in this particular cycle of your life. Because as we get older, we grow, we learn, we change. The things that made us happy years ago no longer have an effect on us. Um, we have grown from that. We have seen that perhaps we were not correct in making the decisions that we made in the past or going in the direction that we went, but we had to in order to learn that lesson, to get past that cycle in our life and, and to grow spiritually, karmically, releasing some of karma from the past, from, from this particular life as well. Because everything that we do, all the choices that we make, uh, leave a trace, they leave an imprint, they affect others that are around us, so they leave some type of a karmic trace, so it's either a positive or a negative, but in every aspect, every decision that we make, we are creating uh, an imprint, so to speak. So some of the biggest obstacles to self-love are self-criticism as well, or perfectionism. You're either criticizing yourself or not being perfect in the things that you do. You look in the mirror, you say, well, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too tall, I'm too short, I don't like my hair, I don't like my face. You know, we're constantly criticizing ourselves or criticizing others that we see. And we have no right to do that. Because in God's eyes, or in the eyes of the universe, whatever deity you, you believe in or you pray to, you are perfect. You are perfect. You are love. You are created from love. You express love, and that's what we should be expressing about ourselves as well. Some of those criticisms and perfectionism that we try to put on ourselves lead to harsh judgment of yourself, of others, and that's not good. You're closing down, and eventually it creates illness in whatever aspect of yourself that you are um, looking at negatively or criticizing or trying to change or prodding yourself or prodding others. So if you've been trying to compete with others, get approval from people in your family, or simply pushing yourself too hard, if you are, you need to soften up and listen. Start listening to your body. Start listening to your soul, your, your intuition, perhaps. Focus on keeping your heart open and practice acknowledging and recognizing the good in yourself and in the others around you instead of the negative or cutting yourself down or cutting others down because there's a purpose for everyone in our lives remember we're like onions we have many layers and everyone around us is a reflection of who we were who we are becoming who we are at this moment and we need to look at people like that because instead of criticizing them we should praise them we should thank them you know even if we don't want to say it out loud we want to say it in our minds thank you because you have been one of my greatest teachers. You're teaching me what I do not want to become, what I don't want to be at this time, what I have overcome. You know, it's one of those three things. So you need to start looking at life that way, and then you'll see things perhaps in a different light. This card is beckoning you to breathe love in and out of every moment of the day and ask yourself, what changes do I need to make to my daily routine 
so that love can pulsate through every breath, action, and relationship that I engage with. That is important. So we need to practice that perhaps throughout this month and see at the end of the month where we are, you know, how we're looking at things, how we are sometimes uh, giving others a little bit of the power, try to be reverence to them, you know, um, acknowledging them, perhaps our parents or, or someone that we admire. Try to learn from them and look at, at people with love, you know, including yourself. It has to start within yourself, otherwise you won't be able to do it for others because immediately you'll start thinking negative thoughts. So you have to first focus on yourself and then on others. And if you are in a relationship, it's the same thing. Your partner is your biggest, biggest mirror. He is your biggest teacher or she, okay? And you have to look at them in that way. What are they teaching me? What is this situation teaching me at this time? What do I need to change? How do I need to look at this situation in order to improve it as I move forward? So choose to open your heart through softness, deep breathing, relaxation, movement, dancing, music. Get out in, the, in nature. Go to near water and breathe in the freshness, the crispness in the air, the smell of it. Go to a park, same thing, the trees, the grass, the bugs, listen, listen to nature, it helps you, it helps you, it gives you energy, soak it in through your feet, soak in the, the pulsation of the earth itself, you can actually feel it, it's alive, but you need to focus, you need to change. Find beauty in nature, in your home, in your pain, in your love, in your sadness, in prayer, etc. You can find it in everything that you do and every step that you take each and every day. Keep your heart open even though it makes you feel vulnerable and exposed. But try it, try it because some people that you meet that you say something nice to probably haven't had anyone say anything nice to them in a very long time. And you may change their perspective. You may brighten their day even if it's just so briefly but help others. Again, focus on self-love. Focus on yourself. And then share that with others as you move along. The action that you could take perhaps during this week or maybe throughout the month, it gives you an opportunity to learn to receive. Anytime anyone says something nice to you or offers to help you, take a deep breath and then thank them and accept the help. Sometimes we also think, oh, we can do it. No, don't worry. I don't, don't bother. I'll do it. I don't want you to bother with that or don't say that. Say yes. Accept it. You need to find something loving or nurturing to do for yourself. This could be a massage, a healing treatment, or a movie with a friend. Get out and do something that nurtures you. Every time you look in the mirror, repeat, I am lovable. Do that every day until you really, really, really believe it. So that's an action that you can take towards self-love. Look in the mirror say, I'm lovable. I express love with everything that I do each and every day. So do that every day. Write it on your mirror and then look at the mirror, read it, and believe it. Believe it. Okay? Keep doing it until you believe it. The King of Pentacles. Organizing your finances. Meeting someone that can help you organize your finances or help you move forward in life. For some of you, it'll be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo that assists you, or someone with those qualities, a banker, someone that loans money, someone that's a broker, anyone that's associated with money. So this week, you may be focusing on your finances, trying to get organized, trying to improve on your finances. This could be a boss. You could be getting a raise. Uh, you could be moving from one position to another. And again, it could be dealing with banks, dealing with loan uh, people that give loans, or just organizing your finances in one way or another. So this week, you're going to be focusing on your money, on your assets, on your home. Some of you are moving. Some of you are changing from one country to another, one state to another. And you're having to organize your finances from one job to another. So it's finances self-love that's going to be your main focus for this week so now let's see what the cards have to say to us for the week as we move along at the beginning of the week you're going to team up with others in order to achieve something that you have been trying to manifest so it's the joining of groups it's looking at your ships that are coming in or setting down some seeds and see what is returned. So you're going to be giving either proposals for things, uh, for jobs, 
homes. Some of you may be traveling. This is also a card of travel or making the plans to travel somewhere, whether it's a vacation or a trip for work. But again, teaming up with, it's more than one person that's going to do this. So it's either you and three other people, three eight people together, looking at three paths that you have to go or three choices that are important. So the number three is very important in this card. And it's also looking into the future, what you're going to be doing, things that are coming in that you have planted in the past or an idea or a seed or somewhere that you have either put in an application or a plan for a self-employment or business, something that you've done in the past and now it's returning to you. You're hearing about it. You're moving forward. You're moving to another state, to another country or making the plans to move. The next card is Hierophant. So the Hierophant could represent marriage for some of you. It could represent uh, joining of two people. It could represent a new path. And number five represents change, big change. This is also a very traditional card. So it's following rules that are traditionally set that you have to follow and there's no breaking them uh, like a marriage. It's traditional, it's religious, it's beliefs that you are. Uh, perhaps hanging on to that may be outdated at this time. So some of the seeds that you have planted, you have to follow it in a traditional way. This also represents a big business. Big business that has many layers to it and you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. So it could be a promotion for some of you in your job. This is very big businesses. These are also considered to be jobs for government type of work. So for some of you, you may be applying at a, at a big government agency or state agencies. You're looking at the seeds that you have planted, so you may be getting a position working at a job that's very traditional. Um, there's also certain ways to doing things that are very traditional, but you have advantages. So the Seven of Wands represents someone that has an advantage over others. So not to give up. The seeds you have planted are well planted. Even though you have to go through very traditional steps and it takes a while for everything to fall into place, you do have a position of advantage, so don't give up in whatever area that is in your life. The bottom of the deck, you have the world. The world card represents changes, cycles that end, and a new cycle that begins. It's a very triumphant card as well. So the things that you are looking to manifest into your life, your business, your employment, home, relationships, you have planted seeds that are well planted. It's very traditional the way that you've done things and the way that you have to follow this path in order to achieve the end. Okay, you have a placement of tradition or a placement of being above others. So if there's other competition, or other people that are trying to get you to the same position or the same person or the same home, you will have a place of being above others. And I lost the words somehow. This channeling is kind of hard sometimes. A place of whatever it is. I said it before, so you'll be above others, okay? Advantage. That's it. That's the word. You'll be in a place of advantage over others if it's a competition or continue to move forward because your your seeds are well planted all right you don't have to give up because things will change even though there may be a bit of obstacles that you'll have to overcome there will be a person that judges over your decision that may be very difficult and is very traditional and they won't break any of the rules or bend any of the rules in order to to help you so you have to remain your position has to remain very steady and you need to keep fighting, okay? Because there may be some things that you'll have to overcome, but you will because your place of advantage is there. Don't give up. The world symbolizes the ending of a cycle. So something will change. Something will end so that something new can begin after you overcome these battles that you need to overcome in order to achieve this ending, this cycle that ends, okay? And it has to do with your finances. A lot of it will have to do with finances or someone that is of an earth sign that either steps in to assist you or it's just representing you. 
your finances that you are working, trying to overcome. And then you have the Eight of Wands, which is a card of movement, a card of travel, a card of love, arrows of love. So for some of you, there'll be another person that assists you that perhaps you love. Or you'll meet someone new once these changes occur because there's an ending to a cycle and a new one that begins. So for some of you, it could be a romantic partner that you, that you meet. For others, it's something that you love that you begin once this cycle ends. A job, romance, home, it could be any of those areas of life. For everyone, it's different. There's a lot of people listening to this. So it all depends on what it is you are trying to solidify. What's been very difficult for you to to do to overcome with this hierophant that's super uh, traditional and you have to follow certain rules but it also affords knowledge new knowledge that you will gain by going through these steps and again the the eight of wands is a very triumphant card of overcoming the seven overcoming this this competition this position that you have but you overcome these are messages that come in they're positive. It's a representation of movement forward, fast movement forward. So all these changes that are coming in, they're going to occur very quickly. So we need to be prepared for that. And remember, no perfectionism as you move forward. Don't get hung up on something that may be more than you can afford or that will cost you a lot of money or trying to lavish another person with a lot of gifts that you cannot afford at this time. Be traditional. There is some type of proposal that's coming in into your life. For some of you, it could be marriage with someone. And the messages are coming very, very quickly. They do love you. They do want to end the way that things are in their life so that they can begin something new. So for some of you, this is a romantic partner that comes in that is represented here as a Taurus because this is the card of Taurus. So for some of you, there's a Taurus that's going to be uh, very important in your life as you move forward. Try not to give up on this person because this person uh, does love you very, very much. This, again, does not apply to everyone. Remember, this is a general reading. So as I get the messages in, they will resonate with some of you and will not resonate with everyone. All right, but in somewhere in there, there's a message for you. So just try to pull from it what does pertain to you and what doesn't. Always remember that it does to someone else. Okay, maybe not to you, but I try to uh, give my messages as I see them. And sometimes after I'm done with the reading, I remember, shit, I could have mentioned that as well. But I have to mention the messages that come to me at the time that I am reading. The world card is represented as well by... I believe the planet Saturn and Saturn is a planet that is very strict just like the Hierophant card is here very very strict and they follow certain rules Saturn teaches you what is a restriction in your life okay so in your chart Saturn will be placed in a certain sign and that sign represents certain things okay in a certain house so it'll be in a house and in a sign so it represents different things for each one of us, okay? And Saturn is a restrictive planet, which will help you look at where you've made mistakes in that particular house, in, in that particular sign, with that sign, so that you learn what, what has been restricted for you in your life and where you need to end the way that you are, the way that you think about things and how you need to proceed as you move forward. So the world card here is representing something that has been restricted in your life, something that has to change, that is going to end so that the new cycle can begin. With you, of course, moving forward smarter, more experienced, knowing where you have gone wrong in the past, where you should not make the same mistakes. You already know these things. So as you move forward, things are going to be better in your life because you have listened to experience. You have learned where you have been restricted and how you can move forward now because of the things that you have learned, what you have sacrificed as you move forward. There is hope. There is healing that comes. Self-love is going to be very important. Loving yourself and then expressing it to those around you.
see what the advice is. Friendship. There's going to be friends that, that will assist you, that will either give you advice or help you in one way or another, but pulling together with your friends and the people that you love, that you respect, that you trust their opinions is going to be important as you move forward in this week. Okay. You know that you have some friends that are very significant in your life, and those are the ones you need to talk over some situations that you may have that could be perplexing to you as you move through this, this week. Again, spend some time in nature. You're being asked to get out there and harness the power of nature in order to make your decisions, in order to help you choose and decide as you move through this week, because the decisions are, are difficult. They're very restrictive. Um, they're very intricate in details, so you need to know the hidden before you can proceed with what's coming. Also share the things that you learn as you move along with either your friends, your family, those that you love uh, with others. Share your experience with people because sometimes that's as you speak to another and you share your experiences, your wisdom, you'll learn something back. You'll say something that you have forgotten or something that, that will mean something to your situation at the present time. But as you express it to someone else, then you see it for what it is. You'll help them, and it helps yourself in turn. So keep that in mind, too, because that has happened. Remember to shield yourself from negative energy as you move through. Because some of the energy that you will experience this week might be a little bit difficult. So learn to shield yourself from it so others cannot take your power, your love, your, your strength from you. Learn to shield yourself. Envision yourself in a bubble of light with angels all around you, reflecting that and the negative energy back to everyone else so it doesn't hurt you, okay? Also remember that the decisions that you make and as you move through life, you are not alone. You have your guides, you have your angelic help right there next to you. You have to ask for assistance each and every day in order for you to get it. And allow love into your lives, into your heart. Sometimes we're closed off so much to love that we really repel any new opportunities or people that may be coming into your life but because the negative energy is there or there is a wall where you're closed off to someone else or new people you don't allow it in so it never comes and you're sitting there waiting well what has happened well you have a big energetic block that you need to uh, get rid of you can also ask archangel michael to cut with his flaming sword those ties that bind you to the past, to negative energy, to negative thinking, to what blocks you from allowing love into your life. And make a wish. Make a wish because it could be granted, okay? And also be careful what you wish for so that when you get it, you don't say, oh, this isn't what I wanted. You need to look through the situation very, very deeply as to what you're going to do, what direction you're going to go in, what you are wishing for, so that when you get it, it's exactly what you asked for. All right, I'm going to do an interactive real quick. As you know, I am moving, so I, my time is limited on the weekends right now because I am packing, and I have to make do of my time. But for those of you that would would like to help me and would like a private reading, please contact me via my email, risesheelingarts11 at gmail.com. And I will definitely make time to do the readings. And we'll hook up. We can do them via Skype or we can do them via the recorded video. However you want it. I've also got a new romance reading that I haven't put out yet, but it's very intricate and it will help you understand yourself or another as well. Eventually, I'll put the reading out. I'll make it public. I will do a reading and then I'll put it on my blog so that you guys understand what it's about, how it is. But for right now, I just haven't found the time to do that because it is time consuming. But if you're interested, let me know. All right. A, B, or C. For those of you that chose A, it's time to manifest. It's time to really focus on what it is you want in your life and what you're trying to manifest in er any area of your life. And right now is a perfect time to do so because the energies around you are perfect 
for manifestation, but you have to take your time in order to decide what it is you want, look within, and then put that energy out there into the universe so that you can bring to you what you desire. The Queen of Swords. By cutting away things that are unnecessary in your life, people that do not serve a purpose in your life anymore, it will assist you in being able to manifest the things that you want to manifest in your life because apparently there are situations in your life that you're wasting your time on your energy on your thoughts negative thinking could be all that you need to eradicate from your life and with the sword with this sword she can clearly see what it is that she needs to cut out of her life and it's time to do so so that you can manifest the things that you desire okay for those of you that chose b physical outlet moving your body music dancing exercise, yoga, whatever it is you choose to do at this time, it would be perfect to help strengthen your body, your mind, and your soul, okay, because moving does help, and you've gotten the emperor that will help you organize, stabilize, get your shit together, in other words, okay, so for those of you that are having an issue trying to stabilize your life, get organization, move forward, by moving and meditating, you'll be able to get the answers as to how you need to move forward and stick to it, okay? Because the emperor sticks to everything, and it's one step at a time, one brick at a time, that he lays down the foundation for a stable life, okay? It's not easy, but it's also not impossible. Okay, for those of you that chose C, you have freedom coming up. Freedom. Free yourself. Take that leap of faith. Listen to your intuition. It's trying to guide you in a certain direction that will offer you a lot of freedom. Just jump. Just do it. Don't hold yourself back. The changes that are coming, your intuition is asking you to do something. Go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid. You will have the backing of your angels and your guides that will assist you. And just take that leap and go. Persevere. The Nine of Wands is, is a card of going through a lot of situations, a lot of obstacles. You've been beat up in life. You've had to go through many, many things, but it offers experience. You have a lot of experience behind you, a lot of wands, a lot of passions that you would still like to manifest in your life. And it also helps protect you because of the experiences that you've had. So this card tells you to persevere, keep going. You're going to achieve something that that you have desired, that you have wanted in life, but you need to be persistent and persevere and block yourselves from negative things and negative people. Don't allow them in because all they're going to do is make you stumble or stop you or slow your process down. You have your wands lined up behind you. Just keep moving forward. This path that you are on is going to offer you a lot of freedom as you move forward. So don't stop. Okay. All right, guys. Know that I love you. I'm wishing you lots of luck and love during this week. Enjoy July the 4th, and I will talk to you again next weekend. I am not sure when I'll be able to put out the monthly Zodiac readings. I'll try to do them, but I can't promise anything because my time right now is, is being taken up with the move and packing and all that stuff. But I might be able to sneak a few in. Maybe I'll just do uh, one reading for each of the elements, and that will include the, the three signs that go along with with each one okay so i might do it that way and that way it'll help me all right guys know that i love you and um please thumbs up positive comments share my videos with others don't hesitate if you would like to donate to my channel there's a paypal link somewhere in my youtube video on the top corner somewhere look for it it's there i could use any kind of help that you could give me. And if you would like a private reading, again, contact me via my email that will be listed down below, risishealingarts11 at gmail.com. And uh, have a pleasant week. Bye for now.